In this video, I will demonstrate how to do the lab exercise communicating in a cyber world from the course Cybersecurity Essentials from Cisco. In this exercise, we will send an email between users, upload and download files using FTP, remote access an enterprise router using Telnet and using SSH. But before I start, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this hit the like button to like this video and if you have any questions write them on the comments so let's start doing the exercise first we have to send an email between users so let's open the Gotham healthcare branch network and open the mic PC go to desktop open email and we'll send an email to Sally. So Sally at Cisco.corp with a subject urgent say call me and press send. And on the bottom we can see the email was sent with success. Now let's check the Sally's client email. So we close the window, go back, we go to the network Metropolis Bank, go to Sally's computer, go to desktop, email, and receive. And we got the email from Mike saying, urgent, call me. So the communication via email between networks, different networks, is working. We sent an email from this network to the internet and to this network and the communication is working. Now let's demonstrate using FTP. But first we open the cyber criminals sniffer. This is a packet sniffer to capture traffic. Open this tab GUI and select port 1. When the traffic starts flowing this area will start to be populated with packets information. Let's start using the FTP. We close this, go to this network, healthcare at home, and open the PC from Mary that is working from home. Open the desktop, select command prompt, and we'll connect to the FTP server on the Metropolis Bank network. So we'll use the command FTP space in the IP from that network, that is 209.165.201.3. and Press enter and it's trying to connect and is connected to the network and is asking for the username, that is Mary, so write Mary and the password will be Cisco123. Press enter. And we are connected with these credentials. Now let's upload the file. Now let's check the files on the server. Right there. And we can see the files on the server. Now let's upload the file. So we write put in the file name new clients.txt. And the file was transferred. Now let's check if the file is there, right there, and this is the file, the file we just upload, now is in the server. Let's analyze the FTP traffic, so close the window, go to the criminals sniffer, and this is more information, so all the packets that the sniffer capture, and let's try to find the first FTP, this one. Let's expand this. And we can see the, the IP in here. On the bottom, you have the FTP command user Mary. Let's find the second FTP, this one. On the bottom, and the pass is Cisco123. So the packet sniffer captured the login and password and IP from the server so I have all the information I need to 
access that server with his credentials because the access was not secure. Now let's try to telnet the server. Let's open healthcare at home. We go to Dave's PC. Open the desktop. Open command prompt. And let's try to ping the enterprise server. So write ping and the IP from the server 209.165.201.1 press enter and it's pinging so we can reach the server from this computer now let's telnet to the computer so we write telnet in the IP 209.165.201.2 press enter it's asking from the username the username is admin enter and the password is cisco123 Press enter and we are on server using the admin account. Let's write a command like show users. Okay. We can see that this user is connected. So telnet is working. Now let's try to SSH to the router. Let's go back, open the Gotham Healthcare branch network, go to Teams computer, go to desktop command prompt and try to ping the router ping in the IP 209.165.201.2 enter we can ping the router let's try SSH so SSH dash L in the username it will be admin the IP 209.165.201 Two zero one dot two enter is asking for the password because the username admin is here. So Cisco one two three enter and we have access. Now let's write a command like show users. We can see the user accessing via telnet and the new user accessing via SSH to secure the access will enter the global configuration mode so you write the command configure terminal terminal enter we can see config so we are in config mode and enter the command enable secret Cisco and the secret is enabled, the password is enabled. And this is everything you had to do on this exercise. So everything is fine. But before ending, let's check the cyber criminals sniffer to see the packets from Telnet. So we can see that's a lot more information. We select Telnet. Let's expand this. So what information can, can we see? We have data here. Let's select another. So we have an A, a D, an M, an I, N. So admin, the other one will be space, and C, I, I'll bet we will be an S. S, so this is the password. So we are sniffing packets and via Telnet we can get the traffic information saying admin and Cisco123. So the username and password and the IP is here. So all the information we need to access the router with the admin account. So this is not secure. Telnet is not secure because it's not encrypted. but with SSH, the connection to the router will be encrypted, so it's safer. So, this is everything. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel to see more exercises from Cisco courses and demonstrations with Packet Tracer. If you learned something with this video, hit the like button and write in the comments what Cisco course are you taking or if you have any question about Packet Tracer. 
and I will see you on the next video.